Hello everybody, in this lesson we'll learn how to build a friend system into our custom community or social networks or any website we have. First we'll briefly discuss the logic of what needs to take place in the programming so you have a clear cut picture in your mind of all the steps that need to take place within the application. And then after we have the logic and the steps laid out in our head, then we'll lay out the programming to make it happen in PHP and MySQL and we'll be using just a touch of jQuery. You can get at the source code for all of this at webintersect.com. Version 1.32 will have this friend system and tutorial at work inside of it with well commented out code for better understanding. Alright, let's not waste any time and let's explain how this application will work. Okay, this tutorial is kind of breaking into new ground in the lesson series where we're going to be learning about using arrays in PHP during this lesson. We'll also be learning about using jQuery's AJAX functions in this lesson. And it's going to be practical applications of those technologies. So this way, not only will you learn those things, you will have a practical way to apply them to a real world situation rather than just saying, oh, that's how that's programmed. You will see it actually working in an application that makes sense to you. And it might be by the end of this tutorial that your curiosity is sparked about PHP arrays and you want to know more you can go to developphp.com learn PHP section there and I have a little section about working with arrays in PHP that lays it out in a common sense way to show you all the different types of arrays and the array function reference list right here now for jQuery if you don't know how jQuery's Ajax post functions work we have an example here at developphp.com where on the profile you'll see when you're editing your profile let's say if I go to info and I want to change down here where it says Lake Toxaway to Brevard change my city now when I press save changes it doesn't refresh the browser page at all it uses see how it says profile info updated and that goes away the browser didn't have to refresh and you can see my location is changed here automatically it seems like it's seamless and magic when you use jQuery's Ajax functions it makes it to where things are seamless Facebook and YouTube both use uh, Ajax functions like mad you'll see inside of your Facebook account as you do things and as you change things sometimes a page doesn't refresh and it loads the new data in in a magical sort of way. So that's what you'll be learning about. We'll introduce you to jQuery's Ajax functions and uh, PHP arrays. Okay, before we get to any code and showing you any of the programming of how it works, let's lay out the logic. While member one is logged in, he goes to member two profile. We want to make sure that when member one being logged in goes to member two's profile, that he sees an add as friend link in that profile. If it happens to be a regular visitor that's not a member, not logged in, we will not show that add as friend link. Or maybe we'll show the add as friend link, maybe gray it out, or we'll think of some way to make it to where people who are not logged in don't have access to make friends with people who are members and logged in. So what we'll do is make sure it shows an add as friend link on the profile using conditionals simple if and else statements now what we'll have to do for this particular system that I'm going to build we're going to make a new table that's going to hold MySQL friend requests so when member one clicks this link to add member two as his friend we're going to put that pending request into this MySQL friends request table now this MySQL friend request table that we're going to create is not going to actually hold all of the friends lists and everything. That's just going to be for pending requests. This way your system stays a little more streamlined and it doesn't get as clogged up with multiple rows of data or maybe multiple fields that are not necessary to be in a table. So what we're going to do is house the friends array we're going to have each member is going to have a new field created into their existing table. So you can see down here it says we add a new field in our existing members table to hold their friends array. 
what their friends array is going to look like is something like this. See those numbers delimited by commas or they're separated by commas? That's an array. It's an array of numbers. And what those numbers represent are, guess what? Member IDs. So my member ID is 1 at the site. So if I click uh, add as friend for this member too, my ID is going to go into the pending friend request along with his ID and then he's going to get the option to accept that friend request. Maybe he doesn't want to be my friend, so we're going to give members the option to accept friend requests in a list. They'll get a list of all the people who are requesting to be their friend. Just like Facebook or whatever, or uh, YouTube. So, when member 2 actually goes to check his list and confirm or deny friendship on member 1, we'll get removed from that table. That way this table stays nice and small. All this table holds is friend pending friend requests. When a friend is accepted or denied, the row is removed from this friend request table. So let's say member 2 accepts member 1's request. That means member 1's ID is going to go into members 2 friend array. It'll be in this list of uh, IDs that are separated by commas which is going to be an array that's going to be stored in one field inside of our existing members table that we have going already. The new table that we're going to add is simply going to be for pending friend requests. You know all those different types you can have in your MySQL database. We're going to be using the text type for this array. That way you can hold a whole lot of different uh, friends within that array. And using the PHP array like that It'll give us a lot of flexibility when it comes to popping people in and out of those arrays and managing those arrays. So basically, that's how it's going to work. And one more thing to note is that we're going to program things in like if member 1 requests member 2 and then he tries to request member 2 again, we're going to have the programming in place to where it's going to say you already have a pending friend request for this member. Please be patient as that member needs to confirm all friend requests blah 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 and once they are friends then you change the logic on this add as friend link to be remove friend so when member one goes to member two's profile after they become friends what he's going to see on this profile is remove friend link when he clicks that link he'll get the option to remove that friend from his array or his friend list and then once that happens, both members are removed from each other's array. And we will begin learning the programming to make all this possible in video number two of this little series. There should be just a couple of videos in this series because I can't really pack it all into one because we're going to be going into PHP arrays, jQuery's Ajax functions, and all kind of nifty stuff. And I don't really want to speed through it all. I want to make sure you guys grasp all of it. If you're somebody that does want to speed through it all, just get straight to the code. Maybe see the comments in my code. You don't even have to watch these videos. You can go straight and get the source package from webintersect.com version 1.32 when it's available. So stay tuned for building a custom friend system using PHP and MySQL part 2.